Anna again. So I get asked this question a lot on my fitness Instagram, on this channel, basically wherever I post something that has to do with fitness. Um, and it is, how can I lose weight? Slash how can I tone up my stomach area, get abs? Basically everything that has to do with slimming down. And I could talk about this topic for half an hour. But I decided to bring it down to five pretty simple um, tips that I like to incorporate into my everyday life. And this just helps me maintain a healthy weight or it can help you lose weight if you don't do this already. Um, and I just like to do this sort of to just tone up, especially my stomach because stomach for me and my sides or obliques are the hardest things for me to lose weight or to tone up or to work and when I eat something high in fat it goes straight to my stomach and straight to my thighs and I feel really bloated so yeah I just have five tips here the first one is how many meals I eat in a day this may seem really crazy to some people or it may be what you're doing already but I usually eat five to six meals in a day and when I say that I don't mean all under a hundred calories or super big meals it's just pretty normal sized meals I like to think of it as three of your normal meals maybe a little bit smaller than you would normally eat and then about two to three snacks so I don't you need to also get enough calories in your day if you don't eat enough calories then you're going to turn anorexic and you're not going to get your health, your body's not going to be able to function well, you're going to feel sick and tired and lagged and it's, you're not going to feel healthy. So just, I don't count calories anymore, I just like to eat the foods that my body is craving. I would just go through sort of the range of my calories, I don't be like, oh, 700 calories for breakfast. I don't do that. Um, so this is just like my layouts. Usually it's around these calorie intake. It's not exact at all. So for my first breakfast in the morning, my main breakfast, I usually like to eat under 300 calories to 250, just under 300 calories, whether that's in a smoothie or whatever. Then I like to have a snack, um, before lunch and that's usually under 200 calories, around 1 to 150. And then I'll have my lunch, which is around 300 calories, another snack after school, which is under 200 calories again, my dinner, which is range 300 to 500 calories, just a normal dinner, um, type thing, but I make sure to include a lot of vegetables and raw foods and then... I usually like to have something sweet, like a dessert after, but it's, I always try to keep it healthy and I always try to keep that around 100 calories after dinner. Basically five to six small meals instead of three large big ones. Number two, obviously, I'm not gonna say drink water because I'm sure you've heard that before, but if you want to, if you're drinking water already and you're like, okay, this isn't, I'm not losing any more weight, I need, it's not really helping. I mean, you obviously still need to keep drinking water because your body needs it to live, but Try drinking lemon water with some cucumber or mint or just even lemon. That is going to help detoxify your body and it's going to help burn more fat. And if you want to take it to the next level, what you can do is have some apple cider vinegar with your favorite all-natural 100% fruit, uh, fruit juice. Add a little bit of honey, a little bit of lime or lemon juice. Mix it up, like shake it, and then drink that first thing in the morning or a few times a week is what I usually will do. The apple cider vinegar is amazing at burning away all that fat and it is a great way to tone up and lose a little bit of the weight that you've been wanting to so try to incorporate apple cider vinegar in that drink um, again just some fruit juice apple cider vinegar lime and lemon and then some honey to sweeten it up I can do a video on like the measurements that I use and everything. Number three is to eat more raw foods, which I talk about a lot on this channel. A raw food is basically a food that hasn't been cooked, so it's no animal products. It's basically fruit, vegetables, and a little bit of nuts, which are healthy fats. So if you saw my, I recently did the what, what I eat in a weekend, and I call myself semi-vegetarian just because I don't eat a lot of meat, just because I prefer not to. Um, I just noticed I don't eat that much meat. Um, so I try to definitely eat a lot of vegetables at lunch and at dinner, and I try to eat a lot of fruit in the morning. So just instead of grabbing a granola bar, grab a banana. It's as simple as that to switch to eating raw foods, and you're definitely going to notice it um, if you don't eat a lot of raw foods already. It's really going to help your body regulate and so it's going to help it lose weight, tone up because it's reading, it's eating water and nutrient enriched foods that were made for your body. It's what your body was made to consume. 
so it's really good for you. Number four is to eat most of your high fat, high, um, high sugar, and high gluten foods in the morning. And that's a lot of words, but basically it means try to eat most of your fruits. If you're eating any bread or pasta, try to have that at lunch or have like toast for breakfast because if you eat like a whole big thing of pasta with meat and like this fatty sauce, and then you have a piece of chocolate cake, you're going to be going to bed soon, which is when your body repairs itself, so it's not going to be able to break down and use those foods. But if you have a bowl of fruit for breakfast, by the end of the day, it's already used up all those sugars. But if you have a bowl of fruit before bed, I mean, it's still fruit, it's still good for you, but the sugar isn't going to be used throughout the day. It's going to be stored, sometimes even as fat, at night because you're sleeping and your body's not moving um, and using up all the sugar or all the fat or all the carbs and starches. So that's why I try to have toast and fruits and all that in the morning. And then at night, you'd want to try to eat lean protein and a lot of greens and vegetables. Oh, also with number four, try not to, this is really hard, especially for teenagers, you know, we like to eat late at night, snack on that popcorn during the movies and everything, but try to not eat before two, uh, two hours before bed so that your body has time, like I said, to use up all that food and not sort as fat while your body's sleeping. And my last tip, number five, has to do with exercising and not food. Sad, I know, but um, it is to find cardio that you like. Um, as a, I did a cardio routine video recently, and it showed just my quick, really easy and simple treadmill routine and some moves I like to do without, if you, without equipment, like swimming and some jumping jacks and stuff. So go check that out if you don't have a treadmill or you don't like running. But basically, I also like doing dance. That's really fun for me. It was anything that gets your heart pumping, moving, and gets you sweating. And cardio is what burns the fat. It's what uh, is going to get you that t t flat stomach. If you don't do cardio in your exercise routine, sadly, it's not going to be as effective, your usual workouts. And I'm not the big fan of cardio, so I'll only run maybe once a week, and that's like a plus, like if I run, because I hate running. So that's why I usually don't run. I usually go for a swim in the pool, or I'll do a dance, like put on a playlist of my favorite songs and just like dance however I want to in my room. Basically just find, maybe you like riding your bike around your neighborhood, or walking your dogs, just find something that gets your heart rate up and gets you sweating that you like to do, because if you don't like to do it, then you're going to dread it, you're not going to want to do it, and the stress that it puts on your body for not wanting to do it isn't going to help with you getting the body of your dreams. That is my whole video on my top five tips for getting a bikini body or not even a bikini body, just staying active, staying healthy, and getting your body back to the state where it's supposed to be. If you guys want more tips or, I don't know, me going into depth a little bit on one of them, then I totally can do that. Make sure to tell me below because I love your feedback and I love hearing what you guys have to say and if you think this is helpful. So yeah, that's going to be all for this video and thanks for watching. Bye!